What's going on everybody? Today we're going to do a real quick video and demo on what type of stuff I use the Power Probe 4.4. That sounds weird. 4.4. Anyways, you get it. Power Probe 4 and what I use it for. Uh, so. <laughs> Something convenient about the uh, power probe is, uh, and working on buses, is you could tap into the uh, jump start quick connect up here at the front of the bus if you need power. And just run along inside and do all your interior work right here. Alright, so with this particular bus, we have no um, backlighting on the whole dash panel with everything except for the speedometer which has its own separate power source but uh, all the other gauges and whatnot and controls have no backlighting to them so let's check it out all right so here we go we have the uh, wiring diagram for the uh, dash panel lamps here so it looks like we got Right here from 12 volt source, uh, circuit breaker number one, which is a 15 amp circuit breaker. And uh, on the uh, 24 volt side of the switch here, uh, we have circuit breaker 26, another 15 amp. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start here. Circuit breaker number one, let's check it out. All right, so this is the above. The head electrical panel up here. Text feed. Static 192.168.0.30. Port 21110.110. Just go ahead and let it do its thing right there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So um, we have this panel open and we have circuit breaker number one right here. And it is not popped. So let's move forward from there. Okay, so we know that circuit breaker one is okay. It is not popped. So you go down the line and it looks like we have a um, multiplex module. So if you're not familiar with multiplex systems, it runs through a series of uh, different computers and uh, basically compacts the amount of wiring needed for a circuit. Um, and up here in the notes, you'll see an input at either A1, input two, or A1, input three will turn on output B2, output 12. So here we are, B2, output 12. And it looks like there's a 10 amp fuse on this, uh, this module right here. So, let's check out the module itself. All right, here we are, module B2. And you have your outputs right here. Output 12 is what we're looking for. And LED is on. So, showing we have output 12. So let's go on further. All right, so. Output 12 was good. Moving down. Connector 93. Oh, I skipped a connector. Connector 102A. Connector 102A. We should have source voltage there. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention, we're looking for um, purple, purple wire, uh, 12 volt. Uh, connector, sorry about that, 102A. Alright, so here we go. Connector 102A. Purple wire. Right here. So let's disconnect this and check voltage. We should have 12 volts. Alright, connector 102A. Purple wire. 
should have 12 volts. And you're in the power probe? No, we don't. So, going back, let's trace the circuit back. All right, so look, we saw 102A purple wire. We didn't have our 12 volt source, source voltage. Going back to the um, the uh, multiplex module, we did have um, B2 output 12 lit up, but we didn't check that 10 amp fuse. So let's go ahead and check that out. And it's really hard to see here, but we're looking for fuse three. 10 amp fuse. Alright, back at module B2, fuse 3, there we go. Twelve, twelve point four five. 12.45, 0.31, let's check this fuse. Sure enough, there you go. Blown fuse. Let's uh, plug a new one in there and test the system out. All right, new 10 amp fuse put into fuse three. 12.34, 12.33 on the other side. Uh, 12.34. 12.33, that's weird. A little bit of a drop, but nothing crazy. Anyways, now it looks like we have dash lights. So, quick, easy diagnosis with the power probe. And this one happens to be the power probe 4. And uh, you can see it works on 12 and 24 volt systems. So, just a little quick overview on this thing, nothing crazy. Hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked that video. Um, basic circuit testing um, with four voltage using the uh, power probe four. Uh, power probe three will work just as well as well as the one and two. Um, this thing does a lot more but just for quick voltage testing without having to break out the multimeter and use both hands it makes things a lot easier. So hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, stay tuned for some more stuff coming out soon.